Today's the 10th of the 3rd, 2020, and this is my first upload in the past three days. So the update that I'm going to share in this upload is with regard to matters that have been occurring since I gave birth in this country, Ireland, and since being married in 2015. Um, as I've mentioned, um, I'm experiencing um, victimisation, very serious human rights violations and um, <sighs> outrageous defamation. Um, the defamation um, hasn't been um, proven. Um, well, the comments, the defamatory comments by the individuals, which also include professionals, which is the most serious aspect of all of this, there are actually professionals involved in this vendetta that have lied barefaced about this entire situation since I gave birth. Um, the individuals um, perpetrating hate crime um, have abused their positions, have uh, thrown money at a vendetta, while there are people in third world countries um, suffering from illnesses, easily curable illnesses, starvation and such. Um, not even in Africa have we to look at this happening, around Europe even. So that's what these people have been spending their hard-earned money on, a vendetta of hate crime. So um, there have been outrageous and ridiculous um, assumptions made about me. Um, the claims are unsubstantiated. These individuals, as I've said, would not know me, but they have um, claimed the most outrageous falsehoods and have created a very serious danger in society when women's rights and children's rights are so severely disrespected. Um, the injustice that I've experienced is outrageous. I've not experienced or had the pleasure of just and fair trial at all in this entire situation. But there are people that are obstructing and perverting justice and um, claiming outrageous defamatory comments about me that are, yet again, worse than what was being said about um, the incident regarding uh, revenge porn and sexual assault. That was over two, 10 years ago, and they have violated not only my legal rights, they have violated my privacy. Um, the individuals involved have trespassed onto property, um, my marital property. They have uh, not consulted me about the developments with regard to such. They have insulted my competency and capability without having any knowledge of my um, skills or expertise. They have ignored the fact that there has been medical incompetence and bodily integrity violations perpetrated also um, without consultation, all in the name of research and development. So um, this is more than just a human rights issue. It's a, an issue of conscience and consciousness that um, these spiritually evolved people that assaulted my light body as a royal angelic light worker, I might add, and exploited my gifts, my blessings, my light body for their gain. These people have continuously um, withheld information um, from me um, intentionally as an effort to undermine my position as a mother, as a deserted wife, um, as a professional educator. They have trespassed onto uh, private dwellings also. They have accessed information, personal information of mine, and they have caused problems um, intentionally in defaming my character, reputation and good name as a royal angelic light worker. Um, as I've said, the authorities and politicians are fully aware of the um, spiritual violence that was perpetrated. They have not acknowledged my victim impact statement as of yet. Still, with regard to the offences that um, the agencies involved have perpetrated against me. Um, so it seems as an individual, a law abiding citizen, uh, being wronged, um, the guilty culprits are yet again causing further problems. I live alone in a HAPS accommodation. My marital rights have been disrespected and ignored. Um, the 
accommodation I'm in is funded by the state. Um, very grateful to have a roof over my head, but the violations of privacy are absolutely shameful. Um, my bodily integrity issues that have been an issue for this matter of vendetta of hate crime and human rights violations is also relevant. Um, exploiting um, a woman's body um, for research and development without consultation or without professional measures being um, you know, enacted is absolutely scandalous. As a mother um, and as a deserted wife, property owner, etc., to be in a state accommodation, um, receiving €200 Euro a week, suffering from bodily integrity violations and medical incompetence um, is absolutely scandalous for a democracy in 2020. Um, the victim impact statement that I um, submitted as a victim and survivor of assault and domestic violence um, has been honest and accurate and as thorough as possible. Um, the individuals that have caused these problems are still causing problems and they have not been addressed or acknowledged and there has been no consultation with me about the experiences that I have endured. Um, there's been a lot of defamation though, there's been a lot of disinformation and um, the violation of my marital rights it's absolutely scandalous for any person to be negotiating property without uh, my inclusion or consultation after 2015, the 30th of March, is another offence in all of this vendetta. As I've said, the individuals making these defamatory claims and reports don't have personal experience of me. They have reports um, convoluted with disgraceful and defamatory issues mentioned that are not honest at all. The spiritual violence aspect of all of this is that the gifts and blessings of a royal angelic light worker that were assaulted in this county since I gave birth has also got implications and as a light worker I'm justifiably angry, justifiably disgusted and the professionals involved faking um, reports and diagnoses while not treating physical ailments um, as well as the exploitation uh, regarding research and development, etc., et is all the very big uh, issue of this vendetta of hate crime. So um, as a mentally healthy, stable individual that has been uh, targeted by individuals that are involved in property theft, financial theft and identity theft, um, the politicians that are aware and the authorities that are aware um, really need to address this issue. Um, as a, an adult deserted wife um, that has experienced betrayal and cheating and defamation, etc., etc., this entire situation is shameful for any country to be um, assisting, facilitating, and even worse, to be safeguarding the guilty culprits. Because as I've mentioned in previous uploads, if it's happening to this woman, then how many other women? How many other children are going to be affected by these kind of behaviours that are quite morose, morbid, insane and um, very dangerous for the European Union also and the United Nations not to be acknowledging. So the mental health of those individuals is a very serious concern. Um, these kind of people to be influencing this kind of a situation doesn't bode positive for the future at all at all. Um, also. Um, the uh, previous upload um, is just a little uh, perspective of the spiritual violence that I've, um, a consequence of the spiritual violence that I was subjected to in this community. Um, my gifts, light and blessings that I achieved on my spiritual path um, were very seriously damaged without authorization or consultation as a light worker. So there's been unethical practices in this entire vendetta. Um, the upload, as I've said, is only a small perspective about um, what magnitude of gifts I had acquired as a light worker. So there's many aspects to all of this. 
These are the human rights violations occurring in Chile, the children's rights violations also. So, um, as a woman whose marital rights have been disrespected, privacy, etc., um, I think the Taoiseach and the politicians and the authorities seriously need to see the reality of this situation because this vendetta is very dangerous for society to be facilitated and people disliking a person without knowing them isn't very rational. Hate crime is irrational. And um, I worry about the mental health of people um, perpetrating hate crime because it's not very healthy for young people either to be um, witnessing uh, these kind of uh, vendettas in society at all at all. Hatred without knowing a person is irrational. The defamation that I've experienced is very dangerous. And the threats to society causing this kind of a problem and lying through their teeth, um, avoiding the compensation they owe me on many aspects, on many levels, like with regard to the physical injuries, the medical injuries, etc., etc., etc. This is what is involved financial abuse, theft, and exploitation. So it's 2020, a democracy, and there are professionals facilitating the. Uh, vendetta of hate crime against a royal angelic light worker because of hate crime so um the authorities that aren't addressing this issue properly and the authorities that are facilitating the threats in society that have violated children's rights human rights etc have um a serious issue to address as far as i'm concerned um there's a lot of questions and answers um, involved in this matter which will require more serious uh, action as far as I'm concerned and disposing of a Royal Angelic light worker after the exploitation and violations and defamation I've experienced isn't good enough and the government especially um, need to acknowledge that fact because uh, there's some things money can't buy and there are some things that are not negotiable and um, basically this issue is very serious for society. It's a political issue. It's um, it's a women's rights issue. It's a human rights issue. But um, as a deserted wife, I didn't get married to have my uh, rights disrespected or to be stolen from and to be violated and abused and wronged. Um, so I'd appreciate it if the guards and the government would actually address this matter properly and acknowledge and confront the individuals that don't have the uh, integrity to be honest and upfront about matters occurring. And if people have to be so defamatory and dangerous with their lies and falsehoods, I'm very concerned about their mental health because it's obviously apparent that uh, there are people in this situation that have intruded, imposed and damaged innocent life. And um, that's 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 very serious for any guards or government to be ignoring, no matter what wealth is involved. Because as I've said, my gifts, light and blessings as a Royal Angelic light worker, inestimable, inestimable. And health is wealth and there's been medical incompetence. So um, this is going on a long time now. I've been contacting the Ombudsman since 2017 and the Ombudsman still haven't confronted the offences that have been perpetrated against children's rights and women's rights. So there's many versions of this uh, incident being relayed to others and the public. But the fact of the matter is there isn't anyone in this position to be able to discuss what they haven't experienced. So um, the Ombudsman and the guards and the government have a task of rectifying issues caused by a vendetta of hate crime. And as I've said, the endangerments in society that have caused these violations are the... Um, people to be confronted and law-abiding citizens like myself um, that are being victimized and violated don't have to worry about people that aren't so um, respectful of other people's rights so the ombudsman please my legal rights medical rights children's rights my marital rights um, all very serious issues um, that's as much as i'll say for this upload but uh, the abuse that is being perpetrated against an innocent woman, I might add, and the financial theft I've experienced, absolutely scandalous. So that's my upload for today. I might, I might have to share again later. 
but I hope that makes uh, things a little bit clearer.